I do a, a very, what we call a brief overview of psychology that is about 30 minutes of history and systems on the first day of class where we show the photos and I say, this is what psychology looked like for a really long time. And that's problematic for lots of reasons. And here's the direction I think psychology is going. And I show students a QR code that they can scan with their phones and it takes them to the rising stars, the psychological science rising stars page. And if you're not familiar, it's like all these young scientists, all these young psychologists who are winning awards for being really like groundbreaking in their fields. They're making really great contributions. And so within the first 30 minutes of my gen psych class, they are identifying someone who they identify with on any sort of like identity variable that they find meaningful to them. And they are doing a little bit of like Googling to figure out what does this person do? What are their contributions to their field? How do they identify? And so I try to set the stage really early on that psychology is changing for the better without ignoring the fact that still a lot of the foundation of what is in those textbooks comes from a very biased kind of one-dimensional perspective. 